Far left Democrat Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez claimed that it's difficult for a, quote, regular person from a working middle class background to raise a family when they work in Congress, specifically bitching about Congress members' current salary as the source of all her woes. Her salary, for the record, is $174,000 a year. That's over three times the average American salary. AOC then pointed out that a mere 10 women have ever given birth while serving in Congress, calling it a, quote, very hostile place to have a baby. I guess she forgot about the babies born in Dachau or the Polish midwife at Auschwitz who delivered 3,000 babies over a two-year period in literal death camps. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Hi. And am I the only one who remembers when she was asking the question, is it still okay to have children? Given the limited years we have left due to climate change. There's scientific consensus that the lives of children are going to be very difficult. And it does lead, I think, young people to have a legitimate question. Is it okay to still have children? She then goes on to enumerate the barriers to having a baby while in Congress, which include having to attend scheduled votes and to travel. In other words, the literal basic requirements of her job as a congresswoman. It would be like an auto mechanic complaining that they can't be expected to go to work and fix cars because they're pregnant. Total nonsense. She also whines that there's no housing allowance and no student loan forgiveness. Big girls <laughs> they don't cry. The average annual wage in 2020 in the United States, according to the Social Security Administration, was about $53,000 and the median annual wage was about $34,000. Most people do not get a housing allowance and haven't had their student loans forgiven. AOC also whined that members of Congress aren't getting more pay increases. Quote, I actually wish it were true that Congress was voting themselves pay increases because it would allow more regular people to have and keep this job, she said. This isn't the first time that Ocasio-Cortez has lamented not getting a raise. House Democrats in 2019 nixed a proposed pay raise. She then complained that the amount wasn't really all that much. Quote, it's not even like a raise, the New York socialist and former bartender said of the proposed $4,500 increase in pay. Considering inflation in Biden's America is going to cost American families around $3,500 this year alone, I'm sure there are a lot of working class regular Americans who would love to see a $4,500 raise in their pay. To them, those numbers are very real. It's unclear what planet AOC lives on. Those regular middle-class Americans she talks about currently experiencing financial misery at the grocery store and gas pump more than likely won't be able to sympathize with her because she sounds like a spoiled, entitled little brat. It reminds me of what Uncle June once said. He's like a woman with a Virginia ham under her arm, crying a blues because she has no bread.